the pump. Make sure that the coppers are fully tight on the pump and on the tool. Make sure you have the contact. Secondly, make sure the pump is plugged perfectly. Make sure your gauge is calibrated, fresh. Make sure you have oil. From that point, you are ready to run the pump. To run the pump, you push on all the way down and you wait for the tool to advance. We have voluntary took an RT25 in order to show you slow motion how it works. The first thing, the piston needs to move out before to be able to get the pressure. That's what we are going to do. Make sure that the pressure valve is not fully tight, just a little bit. Now, let's presume we are going to go for 8,030 foot-pounds. For example, a two and a half stud diameter, 378 across flat. This is a torque for 8,030. If I have only the RT25 with me, I have to look in foot-pounds the closest number to 8,030 foot-pounds. The pressure will be between 3,000 and 3,200 PSI. I decide to set up the pressure at 3,100, which will give me approximately the 8,030 foot-pounds I need to go. First, I pressurize the tool. When the tool is all the way, when the piston is all the way, I raise my pressure. Let's go. I fully push all the way. The tool retract automatically as soon as you relax the button. I lock my pressure gauge and I control again. I push all the way. Very easy. Click, 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 click. As soon as the piston go out, you go to 3,400. When you have to set up for smaller pressure, untight, go again in pressure, but never make the regulation going downwards. All Only go upwards for the regulation. You push. When you have finished the operation, you can release the residual pressure by pushing on the top of the solenoid. The pressure residual will disappear. Thank you.